very difficult for us to know how much we can buy this and we do because of the violation. At the same time now, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm Diana's husband, Ernie. Uh, I have no other choices. So this puts me in a particular position whether we understand if, if I don't get what I need, then I have to pull my whole family from this area to take them back to where I'm at, local. That way I'm able to help out as much as I can. So that's just another thing to consider for the board. We understand that, believe me. If we had the choice, we would certainly be making a different decision. It's not the decision that we would like to make. And I think that if this is going to continue, I don't there's got to be some other way of doing this. I don't mean that we can solve these people's problems, but it seems to me an exercise of futility to have people come in here and make an appeal and have us say, we're sorry if we can't do anything for you, no matter how heart-wrenching it is and, and how much of an imposition it's going to be. I, there's got to be a way of solving this. I mean, if we, have, if we, as a school board, have to take out an ad and say, until you thoroughly research how your life is going to be impacted, don't buy a home in Heber, uh, and put it in the newspaper once a week for the next six months, I'll be willing to budget that. Because this is getting to be an imposition on me. I told my husband, I won't be home on time, as well as that's not a problem. I don't mind staying until midnight. I said, and I'm going to need a box of Kleenexes when I get here. But this just takes my heart and pulls it out. Because your life is going to be impacted. I'm, certainly my life isn't, but it certainly takes a toll on our, on us. I just, I just don't think it's right. And I don't know what else we can do, but... <clears throat> Mr. Siva's letter to uh, the board does point out one other habit, and that is, unfortunately, Superior Court. This is a very unique situation where the district, like a very few other districts in California, has, has defined itself as a quote-unquote district of choice. I'm not an attorney. I'm not going to explain all the ramifications mm -hmm. of that to you, but uh, it's our attorney's belief that transfers out of that district are, are subject to a limitation. Beaver says it's at that limit, and therefore they are not approving additional transfers out. So what's the use of an appeal? Well, it's because it's the code. Question. You have the right to appeal. And, and but we were up, appealing, but okay. we're still with our hands. The board has to make a decision mm -hmm. are also limited. And I understand the law. I, I understand that you guys go by regulations and you guys cannot break the rules. But we as parents cannot break the rules ourselves, exposing our children to stay after school while we're working because we have to work in order to provide to our children. The only other positive suggestion you can make would be to seek child care. My, my problem is I tried that when I first moved here and I don't speak Spanish and the English speaking, the, the only ones on the list, I called and they were on the phone, busy signal for two days. I'm like, I'm not going to put my child in child care that's on the phone all day. So, you know, I, I have better expectations. I want someone to watch my child. So that wasn't even an option for me because I went to the list and there was, I think, two or three that spoke English and one was full. You know, so it, it leaves me in a position I don't speak Spanish, and my child doesn't speak Spanish. So I tried that route also. You know, now I'm at the point where I don't know what to do, and the housing market dropped. You know, we're like we're just stuck in a spot, and I don't know what to do with my child next year. If I quit my job, I lose my house, and I don't know what to do. But we were very nicely, I would say, this board was very nice. It kind of legally put in its place. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we were. Uh, we, we were kind of legal because we were, in fact, fighting with parents too much. And, and finally, you know, we, we just had a, I thought, was it, it about an hour and a half, wasn't it, that we were, it was terrifying to us, but so we should 
program. So I also came from San Diego and he's a slow learner and he, there at the desert garden where he's attending, he's attending El Centro because when I first came down I was living temporarily with a friend in El Centro so he went into um, desert garden and he's at the RSD program and he has improved significantly. So my fear is I'm going to take him back to Heber and he's going to start from the beginning starting to trust the teachers and what I'm afraid of is that he's going to actually help back. So that's one of my main um, concerns. My also concern was I'm a single parent. My friend... I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm just wait, dude. Oh, am I, am I talking too fast? No, no, the problem is that we're, we're, we're oh, still on the yellow. Oh, sorry. We're still on the yellow. Oh, okay. Excuse me. You're right. Thank you. Um, so hang on just a minute. No problem. Sorry, what was the motion? To deny your appeal. Okay. We have to speak with child. I was sure to Jeff, though, we've had this so many times involving people. But it has to be a lot of parents who are unhappy. And you can find out who those parents are and get together 